Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to go look at my 55 gallon barrel bin that is using the wedge method. All right, let's take you over there. All right, let's take off the bubble wrap and, and see what we have. It's probably been almost a month since we've looked in on this, so it should be interesting to see what we've done. And by we, I mean the worms. Oh, there's a European night crawler right there on top of the bubble wrap. Well, if you remember, if you haven't seen this series, I will link up to the top so you can go back and watch it from the beginning. But let me bring you over here. I had started stacking this up a little bit higher because this is the, you know, almost completely finished portion and it does not take up as much space as the stuff that still has recognizable bedding in it. So as things get totally finished, I'm just um, stacking it up so that it's, you know, higher over here on the top. So let's take kind of a peek and see where this is and what we have in the worm department. Well, it doesn't look like they're really moving out 100%, so there still must be something in there that they want to eat. So I'm just going to keep, every time I go in here, I'm just going to fluff it up, make sure they have air. And then move on to the next part. Yeah, you can see lots of worms all the way through. Whatever's in there, they're not done with it. Okay, so then we go to this next part that at this point I think is about three months old. So let's let's look under there and see what we have. Probably about the same amount of worms. I think it's at a decent level of moisture. It could be wetter. I'll probably go ahead and add more moisture to the whole thing. I'm going to be going on vacation pretty soon, and I want to make sure that these guys are all ready to be stocked up and ready to roll on their own for about three weeks. Okay, so that's the three-month-old bedding, or the three-month-old section. Then we move over here. Probably from here to here is two months old. So let's look at that. You can tell if this was the middle of June, they would have blown through this whole thing so fast. It still smells like paper. You can tell that it's it's got quite a ways to go. Let's see if I can find any food or anything. Apple peels. Looks like apple peels here and there from the apple goo. I don't know if you can hear, but you can hear the moisture is pretty good. I'm not going to squish. I'm not going to squish my worms. Then let's go over here to the end where I fed most recently. And let's see what we find. Oh yay! We've got a worm ball. Smells citrusy. I'm not sure. Must have been just like the work compost bucket stuff tamale peel but yeah tons and tons of worms uh, tea bag string hard to see anything specific about the food that might be a banana peel nope it's a leaf yeah it's just a regular old Maple leaf, you can see the blue worm here. 
so again with the compostable bags these are about a month old I don't know if I actually got around to microwaving this or not so non microwaved they take a good long time to break down but it is kind of creates cute little cute maybe not cute uh, nice little pockets where the worms can accumulate you know if the moisture is low in the bin so I think they're serving another purpose as well as, as keeping the moisture in any particular place maybe a little bit higher that the worms like oops and I've uncovered I think that's an onion peel so they're all wadded up in that onion peel Oop! I feel something squishy I don't know if it's worms or if it's food Anybody want to make any bets before I flip it over? Ugh. Both. The answer is both. So whoever said both, you're totally right. This is um, lemongrass from a recipe that I made some lemongrass tea with. So they are all in that lemongrass going to push the bedding off and see what else we can find. Doesn't smell bad or anything. It smells kind of nice with that lemongrass. Not, oh, yeah, avocado pit. Oops, got another. Got another squishy ball of worms here. Not sure what all of that is, but they're certainly digging it, whatever it is. I think that's is that limes? I think it's limes. So yeah, there I do certainly have a, a good concentration of worms here in the the fresh food department of my little worm grocery but there's still a huge amount of worms in the old part too so I guess you know maybe they all have their preference or something I don't know. but I'm gonna put you down here and I'm going to fluff things up and see what's going on in the rest of the in the rest of the barrel <coughs>
Okay, so now we've got some more food and I've brought down some more bedding. So I'm going to, again, put some fresh bedding that I made last week or the week before that has been sitting around building up microbes. Hopefully at some point I will upload the video of how I did that. Then I'm going to take all of our fruits and vegetables. Oh no, horrors! An onion! Oh, calamity! It's an orange peel! Aww, they love bananas. it up. And then the work bag, which is whatever people put in it. It's always a surprise for me. Tuck that in there. Looks like a lot of coffee. Coffee filters. More coffee, more coffee filters. It's uh, winter here in the Midwest and lots of people trying to uh, prevent getting sick from eating oranges and fighting off the winter with nice hot coffee, which then my worms get to appreciate. Cover that up with more bedding. That's that's pretty that's pretty wet. And that's okay. Because coffee grounds seem to suck the moisture out of things, so you can still good. see we've got stuff here that is more than three months old. Two months old. And I did kind of put this whole area together, which was about one month and then like three weeks ago together in a bigger stripe here and made room for the new stuff. So there we have it. The wedge method. Now, I know some people who practice the real wedge method. You start at one end and you go to the other and you don't tamper with the old stuff. Me not playing with my worms is just not going to happen. I have to know what they're doing. Um, it's not necessary. I could have just left them over there to do whatever it is that they do when I'm not looking. But, uh, no, got to gotta see what my worms are doing. So, anywho, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Click subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And uh, hit that little bell notification if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. And as I'm putting the little babies away, I will put some playlists up there to other content of mine that you may like. Alright guys, well thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good night.